Hi guys, Katie here. Sorry for shaky video quality. I'm doing this again on my tablet. I am researching cameras and stuff and trying to figure out what can give me the best bang for my buck on my budget right now. So until then, I will do my best to use the tools I have to the best of my ability. And quick apologies for my appearance. I know I look kind of disheveled right now, but this has kind of been the month of zero Fs given. And I think many other people are in the same boat. So hopefully you can look past that for this video. All of that aside, I'm doing this video because I have a crack between my kitchen granite countertop and the wall. And I have fixed it with Flex Seal before. Excuse me, Flex Shot. And it's a great little tool. It saved me a bunch of money and it, I know it sounds like the equivalent of putting duct tape on something and calling it a day and maybe some people would view it that way, but it actually did work for me. I have used this on my bathroom in our previous house and while it wasn't a $5,000 job, it did what it was supposed to do and it actually worked really well. So I thought I would share this little tip with people. Hopefully it will help someone out there and if I can be useful to someone, I might as well be. I know I'm not a man, but as Red Green used to say, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. So, who knows, maybe this will help someone improve their house a little bit. Any tips and tricks I have, if it can help someone else, I'd definitely like to pass it along. So, let's get started. Okay, well, apologies for any sound you might hear in the background. I am currently running my dishwasher. I was actually running it before I started this video, so... Hindsight is 2020. Didn't think of it at the time, but anyway, if you do hear it, my apologies if it's obnoxious in the background. But as you can see, there's very clearly a crack in between my granite countertop and the wall. So what I did is I took my handy dandy masking tape here. This stuff is great, has a million uses right up there with duct tape, but this will come off a lot easier than duct tape. So what I have done is I have done masking tape along the top and the bottom of where the crack is. So that way when I go to apply the flex shot, um, it will not make a huge mess. It will kind of stay in this nice little area. So I did it all along the countertop. Luckily it's just this one line. Um, it wasn't really like this when we moved in a few months ago. This is still a fairly new house, but it did develop over a little bit of time. I don't know if the previous caulking... <sighs> Shut up. If the previous caulking um, just cracked or what the deal was. But again, I have fixed caulking before in my bathtub. It worked really well before. Like I said, it wasn't the you know, with the work of a professional contractor, and by no means am I trying to take the place of a professional contractor, but, um, but this has worked for me before, and it did a pretty good job, so I thought I'd share this tool with you. Flex Shot is great stuff, I have to say. Like I said, I've used it before. Um, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. I got it at Home Depot. I don't know if you'd be able to get to Home Depot lately. Yes, that's my lovely cookie jar. But at any rate, I did get this at Home Depot. It is great stuff to have just on hand in case you ever need it. I totally recommend it. It is fantastic. I won't give you the whole commercial here, but as you can see, it does have many uses. You can use it in many places. You don't need a caulking gun. So, what I'm gonna do first, after taping everything, you wanna tape your line, obviously. Um, I will say I'm not gonna use a putty knife. So believe it or not, what I'm gonna use is the corner of this cardboard because the knife that I had has this exact same corner. So once I apply the flex shot, I'm just going to go along and kind of smooth it along. And then once it dries, we should have a nice line here. So I will say I can't hold the camera and do this at the same time, but I will get part of this done. I'll show you what it looks like and then we will go from there. Okay, so as you can see, I've applied a nice thick line of caulk. Stop it to the wall here and I'm going to smooth it out with a putty knife. There are some areas where the crack is a lot larger than others so I tried to apply a little bit more and yes I know it looks sloppy right now but once you smooth this down with a putty knife or in my case the ghetto cardboard 
Uh, it should fill into that hole nicely and hopefully cover it and I won't need to keep caulking it over and over again. Okay, fairly going fairly well so far. As you can see, there's a nice space that has been filled in. Um, it's not a perfect science, but once we take that tape off, it should just leave a nice, fairly even line there. I'm about definitely at least a third of the way done, almost a halfway done. So as you can see, this is going to be a fairly big space to fill, so I may have to do this section over a couple times. But based on how this is going so far, I think it will turn out rather nicely. And additional little tip, make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area. This isn't a very strong smell, it's not like, you know, bleach or anything like that, but there is a little bit of a faint smell, and some people are a little more sensitive to it than others. So if you think that this could be a problem, definitely try to do this in a nice open area. You know, if you're going to be in a bathroom like I did it, make sure you have the window open or the fan going or something, just to make sure the air gets circulated as with any chemicals or epoxies or anything like that that you're working with. All right, so... I have all my flex shot smoothed out. Um, another quick tip, you probably already know this, but in case you don't, when you go to use your putty knife, or in my case, the ghetto cardboard, you want to make sure you're not doing it completely perpendicular. Um, you want to try to use a 45 degree angle that will give it that nice, um, you know, it'll, it'll help fill in the flex shot or whatever it is that you're using and it won't you know kind of fill in on one side and not the other like above or below the other thing is and I say this just in case because some people may not know this I'll show you, show you a close-up about how it looks it doesn't look pretty now but it should look pretty prettier once I take this tape off but I will say don't let it dry completely before taking the tape off. And the reason for that is if it dries completely, that's obviously gonna be stuck to the tape and it's not gonna wanna leave from the wall and it will be a big sticky mess. In this particular case, I can say don't wait until it's completely dry because then you might not be able to get it off the wall at all and that's no good. So we're gonna try to take this off and see how it looks. Okay, I started to take the bottom tape off. I decided not to do both paint strips at the same time in case there was an issue or it started kind of turning out badly. Um, when I did start to, as you can see, first of all, there is a really nice bottom line that we have here. However, there is a spot where there is still a little bit of a crack. So what I'm going to do is try to fill in those little spots there and make sure there isn't any additional cracks. I had to stop here because there was another tiny crack when I removed the tape here. Um, the crack that's right by the sink especially is very big so I wouldn't be surprised if I have to do that one over a couple times but let's remove this bottom tape and see how we did. Okay so having removed the bottom tape only these two places so far uh, See if I can point to them while holding my tablet. My apologies, my big finger right here and right here are the only place that I really need to do that over again. No problem. But for the rest of the line along the sink, as you can see, the bottom of that line, it really came out clean and crisp and not too bad for somebody who is by no means an expert. So we're going to take the top tape off and see how that looks and I just wanted to point out that that little paint splotch right there was already there so that was not me being sloppy and I'm trying to find where it is now but there is a place along here where there's a little chink in the concrete um, excuse me granite so it's not that I slopped it up it's that the concrete was actually a little chipped and I didn't know that before not a big deal, but overall um, it looks really good, so we're going to take off the top tape and see how that came out. Okay, so once again I removed the top tape, and as you can see, while it is not 100% absolutely foolproof and perfect, compared to what it looked like before, it is a lot better. And yes, there's some places where it's a little thicker, a little bit uneven, and once again I still have to 
squeeze a little more flex shot into those little spaces where there are a little bit of cracks that are still there. Um, and like I said, it is not like a $5,000 job. You can see that it is not 100% perfect. But, like I said, for somebody who is not an expert and is using the tools at her disposal, who is just an ordinary housewife kind of thing, uh, it does not look too shabby. And even that area, I didn't know if I'd have to do it over again because the crack was pretty substantial right there, right behind the faucet, so I may add a little more there just to be on the safe side. But as you can see, for the most part, while not perfect, not really too bad if I do say so myself. Um, that little spot right there is not me. That was a little chink that was in the paint. So, not too shabby. Like I said, a couple spots that I may touch up just a little bit, but there is no longer a huge jagged crack going along the back of my countertop. And this stuff is waterproof. It will seal out water. And there is no longer a space there for anything else to get into, food, water, insects. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied. So once again, I will reiterate that I am by no means an expert. I don't have any formal training, and even if I did, as most of you know, we're in a pandemic right now, so it's not like I can go out and get a ton of tools. I used what I had at my disposal, and if I didn't have those tools, then no, I wouldn't have taken a huge risk and risk messing up my kitchen. But I have used the flex shot before in my bathroom in our previous house, and I know it worked well, so I just did what I had a pretty good idea would work. And like I said, as you can see, it was kind of almost like a gaping hole before. It was a really big crack, and now it's just a nice white line. It may not be perfect, but I can always smooth it later if it really bothers me. So the flex shot cost, I think it was something like $14 from Home Depot. It helps if you get a putty knife. If you don't have one, you can just use something that has a rounded edge. Like I happened to have that cardboard just lying around and it had a rounded edge, so I used that and it worked pretty well. So hopefully this will help someone else. You can use this for any grouting or caulking that you have. Okay, insert any infantile jokes you want. I didn't name the stuff. I'm just saying it's a good fix that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on and if you're not extremely picky and you can settle for a fairly good job that will last for a good amount of time without fail or anything like that and is a very easy fix, then definitely feel free to try it for yourself. Any questions, just let me know in the comments below. And like I said, while I am absolutely not an expert, I just passed along some information that I knew that worked for me and hopefully it can help someone else that might need it. So thank you again for tuning in. Please feel free to subscribe. Um, I will have my Amazon personal shopper video coming up when I get my items later this month, so that should be interesting. And I plan on discussing all kinds of neat things to either save you a little money or a little time or a little effort. There's a lot of stuff that I plan on discussing in my YouTube channel, so hopefully you'll tune in, hopefully you'll subscribe. If you don't subscribe, at least hopefully you'll tune in and keep watching my channels. Give it a like. if this video was at all informative or entertaining or anything to you because I would definitely appreciate it. And in the meantime, as a mini PSA, I hope you guys are all doing well. I know the numbers of coronavirus are increasing every single day. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy as you can. And I hope you're obviously doing the social distancing. I know everyone is saying that, but it's because it's really important. Even especially now as the numbers are growing of confirmed cases every single day. The numbers of deaths are growing every single day. Please be safe. Please be considerate not only of yourself, of your family, but other people as well, and do your part where you can. So that's all I have for now. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Have a great night, and I will talk to you again soon.